Stan and Alan started jogging at the same time throughout the road shown below. Both did not change their speeds throughout. That means they travel at a constant speed. After 35 minutes, Dan was at the halfway point. Okay, so Dan would be here after 35 minutes. And Alan was 300 meters behind. So, Dan reached the end point 5 minutes before Alan. So, when Dan is at the end point, he would have took double the time, which is 35 minutes, times 2, equals to 70 minutes. And Alan will be 2 times 300 meters away from him. And it is said that Dan reached the end point 5 minutes before Alan. That means Alan requires another 5 minutes to reach the end point. So the time taken for Alan to travel this remaining 600 meters would be 5 minutes. So with the distance of 600 meters and a time taken of 5 minutes, we can find out the speed of Allen. That will be distance over time. 600 divided by 5, that will give us 120 meter per minute. And the time taken for Alan to finish the whole journey, it would be 70 minutes plus remaining 5 minutes for her to finish the entire journey. So, total time taken by Alan will be 70 plus 5 equals to 75 minutes. So, the total distance of the route it will be speed times time equals to one two zero times seventy five which is nine thousand meters.